Today we are calculating the band listening roll. Let's roll with it, guys. Okay, guys, so let's get right to the integral in question. So we are supposed to evaluate the integral between 0 and 1 of x to the power of x dx. I love this problem, absolutely. I just love it so much. So how are we supposed to do it? Well, as you might have already guessed, no u substitution, no u substitution is gonna help us. <laughs> no integration by parts works here because well, what the hell would be your du <laughs> and all of that stuff. So I would like to show you guys a trick how to get out of the situation using well, a bunch of techniques from calculus one and probably also two, but this time, well, contrary to when we were evaluating the Gaussian integral, we're not going to be using any polar coordinates or stuff like this, but well, check out the video anyway. So, uh, what I'd like to do is, first of all, rewrite this integral, maybe here. Oh, man, I'm not going to draw integrals from 0 to 1 of x to the power of x dx. And I would like to rewrite the stuff I have inside this integral as e to the power of natural log of x to the power of x. Yeah, so e to the power of, yeah, I got it, e to the power of a natural log of x to the power of x. Well, this thing is just equal to the integral of e to the x times natural log of x dx by the laws governing logarithms that God uh, gave us. Lovely. But now, well, what are we supposed to do with this thing? Because, well, okay, yeah, we got it to look probably a little bit better, or maybe it doesn't really look any better. Mm. But how are we supposed to proceed further from this point? Well, actually, there is a beautiful um, trick to get us out of this right here, which is that you probably remember the power series, the power series expansion for, this say awful sigma, the power series expansion for e to the power of x, which is, bro, <laughs> which is equal to x to the power of n all over n factorial under the sum between n being equal to 1 and infinity. And so we can just kind of go on and apply this thing here into our integral, getting that this entire integral is just gonna be equal to the integral between 0 and 1 of the sum from n equal 0 to infinity. Oh, <laughs> now we just have to kind of plug x natural log of x here for this x in this power series in this power series, so what we'll get is that e to the x natural log of x is going to be equal to the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of x natural log of x everything to the power of 2 and then, uh, sorry, everything to the power of n and then everything divided by n factorial. So let's go on and plug this thing lovely into our sum right over here. Then what we'll get is just x multiplied by the natural log of x, everything to the power of n. I'm really bad at writing parentheses that are of equal size on both sides of the parenthesized expression. Parenthesized expression. Um, don't mind me, please. Yeah, so this is what we're going to get afterwards. And well, now what I would like to do is... Well, what I would really love to do actually here is change the order of summation because I really think that it would be easier for me to first of all integrate this thing whatever is an anti-derivative might be, like, I don't really care about it. And then um, sum all of the, all those results from zero to infinity, then, well, first of all, calculating what this power series might end up being, um, and then, um, I know it was gonna be, it's just gonna be e to the x natural log of x, so, well, I don't really want to go back there, or calculate any kind of, a, like, a value for this thing, and then, and then do an integral of it. I would love to be able to change the order of summation. I mean, by the uh, dominated convergence theorem, I could do it if this thing absolutely converged. I mean, if this, sequ if this series was absolutely convergent, however, I can also kind of like assume that I can do it and then just see whether I will get a sequence that is absolutely convergent in the very end of this proof. Mm, because well, if I do, then it will actually mean that I could have done this thing right here. If after assuming that I can change the order of summation right now, I will in the very end of this proof, I mean in the very, of, in the very end of this evaluation, get a sequence that is, well, not 
going to be absolutely convergent and I will know that here I wasn't really allowed to change the order of summation so let's for now assume that I am after this pretty long uh, lecture of mine. So I will say that this thing is going to be equal to the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of the integral from 0 to 1 of x natural log of x all to the power of n and all by the n factorial that's all the x now i can just kind of go on and take this one over n factorial in front of the integral right over there because well it's just a constant in, in with with respect to x and so there is no problem for me to take it out of the integral getting 1 over n factorial integrals from 0 to 1 x to the power of n natural log to the power of n x dx okay so how are we supposed to evaluate this integral because honestly i mean let, let, let's just be honest here this is a class of integrals that we have to get some kind of a, well a general solution to and that doesn't really look any any more simple i mean any simpler than the stuff we started with so how are we supposed to do it there is actually a lovely substitution a lovely u substitution we could make here which is as follows i would like to substitute u being equal to negative natural log of x which will give me du being equal to negative 1 over x dx and also x being equal to e to the negative u and now about the bounds of integration because well they are going to be kind of important when x is equal to zero we see that the natural log of x is going to be a negative infinity but negative negative infinity is going to be an infinity so as x is zero u approaches infinity and as x is equal to one we know that u will i'm oh, sorry not y but u is going to be equal to zero so we've got our bounds of integration covered lovely so we can just go on and rewrite our integral in terms of u right now i mean first of all we have to um go on and multiply everything by x over x just to be able to convert that du nicely awesome so let's get right here that's going to be equal to the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial and now the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative u multiplied by n yes so negative uh, sorry negative u n <coughs> oh man i have a sore throat <laughs> and negative u times n and then is gonna be um and that's gonna be multiplied by negative u to the power of n and then there was this additional x here this additional x there because this one over x got sucked into the du so i will have to i will have to more divide out sorry not divide but i subtract here a u from this e to the negative u n and then minus a u and then it's gonna be all du however the nice thing would be to just take this negative one to the power of n because it's just a constant in front of the integral i don't really need it so i'll just rewrite this entire thing in order to simplify stuff as uh, the sum as n goes from zero to infinity of negative one all to the power of n all over n factorial of integrals between 0 and 1 of e to the negative u multiplied by n plus 1 just factoring out the u and then multiplied by u to the power of n <laughs> of n the u man my throat oh no not to the power not, not, no, not from 0 to 1 but from 0 to infinity i hope yeah i i did it correctly in the previous integral okay and now well, once again it's a shitty place to be in honestly we have to do one more substitution here but this time it's not gonna be as complicated as the as the one before what i would like to do here is substitute in u multiplied by n plus one being equal to a y and so du multiplied by well n plus one being equal to dy well as for the bounds of integration well they are not gonna change so i'm just no, I'm, I'm just not going to be writing down anything uh, about those bounds because I'm too lazy for that and so we can plug in all of that stuff pretty nicely I mean we still have to multiply and divide everything by n plus 1 uh, in that in that nice integral so that's going to be equal to the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n all over n plus not n plus 1 but n factorial 
of the integrals from 0 to infinity of e to the negative y multiplied by y to the power of n all over n plus 1 that was supposed to be the power of n but we also had to divide by this additional n plus 1 here so we will have n to the power n, n, to, the, n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1 that's gonna be all dy and now well i can just factor out this n plus 1 to the n plus first power out of the integral and is just a constant with respect to y so i don't care about it's gonna be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n and now everything divided by n factorial times n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1 times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative y multiplied by y to the power of n dy but you see a beautiful thing is that this guy right here oh, i wanted to use some other color let's say this one this guy right there is nothing but just the gamma of n <laughs> sorry is gamma of n plus one which is equal to n factorial well if you don't know what a gamma function is it's basically just the generalization of the factorial function the gamma function is the generalization of the factorial function <clears throat> it is equal to the uh, integral from zero to infinity of t to the power f x minus one multiplied by e to the negative t dt and is equal is said to be equal to x minus one factorial it has lots of beautiful properties and i'm uh, i've talked about it more in previous episodes uh, especially the one where i was taking the derivative of x factorial i explained in detail what this function is and how it behaves there so if you're interested just check out that video and i'm gonna kind of skip it right now not to uh, repeat myself too much so i will just say that this integral well by what I notice is equal to gamma of n, uh, of n plus 1, which is equal to n factorial. And so this entire thing I can just rewrite as the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n all over n factorial multiplied by n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1 multiplied n factorial. So those two factorials here and here are gonna nicely cancel each other out. And so what I'm gonna get is just the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n all over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1 and the nice thing is that if you check it right now this thing here is absolutely convergent and so what we see is that there, would, there was no problem for us to change the order of summation right here because what we got in the very end is just a sum that is absolutely convergent and well <laughs> if you want to calculate this thing <clears throat> it is conversion, so you might try to do it. I'm gonna have it as an exercise for you guys, and I'd probably finish it off in some other episode, but this time, well, it's getting pretty late, so let's just leave it for now, because this is a numerical, a numerical answer, and so you should be pretty satisfied, especially with this beautiful result with this gamma of n plus one. I just, I, I just, I just love this trick here. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. <laughs> also, so once again, what did we do here in this problem? We're supposed to calculate the Bernoulli's integral, so the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of x dx. Uh, so we first will write the x to the power of x as e to the natural log of x to the power of x. So we played around with those natural logs for a bit, and then we replace the e to the x log of x with the power series for e to the x with x log of x. Mm plugged in for the value of x net power series then what we did is we kind of changed the order of summation assuming that what we're going to get in the very end of this evaluation is going to turn out to be a uh, series that's going to be absolutely convergent and so what we did then is we made a bunch of pretty cute substitutions taking out all of the junk we didn't need in the sum is, uh, in the um, integral itself out of it and then noticed after the second substitution that what we got is actually equal to the gamma of n plus 1, which is an n factorial, which pretty nicely cancelled out the factorial we had in the denominator of the stuff we had inside of the sum. And so we got that our uh, sum, I mean, that our integral is equal to the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of, n, of negative 1 to the power of n all over n plus 1 to the n plus first power. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
my throat hurts, so give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I love you and see you next one. Bye.